Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss the poem Daffodils by Wordsworth. This poem is one of his most famous works and embodies the key elements of romantic poetry. This poem offers rich material for critical analysis due to its thematic depth, use of language and historical context. Stanza 1. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high over vales and hills when all at once i saw a crowd a host of golden daffodils beside the lake beneath the trees fluttering and dancing in the breeze explanation this opening stanza sets the scene and introduces the mood of the poem the speaker begins with a smile comparing himself to a solitary cloud emphasizing his isolation and perhaps a sense of aimlessness the crowd or host of daffodils appears suddenly transforming his loneliness into surprise and delight the daffodils are personified as fluttering and dancing suggesting vitality and joy The imagery here is rich and vivid with the setting beside the lake beneath the trees painting a picturesque natural landscape animated by a gentle breeze stanza 2 continuous as the stars that shine and twinkle on the milky way they stretched in never ending line along the margin of a bay Ten thousand I saw at a glance, tossing their heads in sprightly dance. Explanation: Wordsworth extends the visual impact of the daffodils by comparing them to the stars in the Milky Way, suggesting both their abundance and their mesmerizing effect. This hyperbolic expression, ten thousand I saw at a glance. amplifies their overwhelming presence and beauty the daffodils are again described with dynamic action tossing their heads in sprightly dance which enhances the sense of their liveliness and the emotional effect they have on the speaker stanza 3 the waves beside them danced but they out did the sparkling waves in glee a poet could not but be gay in such a jocund company i gazed and gazed but little thought what wealth the show to me had brought explanation this stanza contrasts the daffodils with the nearby lake waves noting that the flowers surpassed even the natural beauty of the waves in joy this comparison elevates the daffodils showcasing their ability to inspire happiness even more than the beautiful sparkling waves wordsworth reflects on the influence of such a scene on a poet suggesting that the joy is both infectious and transformative the line i gazed and gazed but little thought reveals that the true value of this moment its emotional and imaginative wealth would only be fully realized later stanza 4 for oft when on my couch i lie in vacant or in pensive mood they flash upon that inward eye which is the bliss of solitude and then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils explanation the final stanza reveals the lasting impact of the daffodils wordsworth shifts from the actual scene to its recollection which occurs during moments of solitude the inward eye represents memory or the imagination highlighting how the remembered image of the daffodils can bring joy 
even when the poet is alone. The concluding lines encapsulate the poem's essence. The natural world provides not only momentary joy, but also enduring pleasure and inspiration that enrich the human experience. The heart's dance with the daffodils symbolically unites the poet with nature in a shared expression of joy. So we can see each stanza of the poem builds upon the last, creating a layered depiction of how a simple natural scene can profoundly affect the human spirit. This poem is a celebration of nature's beauty and its capacity to comfort and inspire key themes in Wordsworth's poetic philosophy. Now let us move to the critical analysis of the poem. Themes Nature and its emotional impacts Central to the poem is the theme of nature's beauty and its profound effect on the human spirit. Wordsworth describes his encounter with a crowd of daffodils beside a lake which lifts his spirits and remains in his memory, providing joy and solace when he is lonely or reflective. This theme is a hallmark of Romanticism, which emphasized the emotional and spiritual uplift that nature could provide. Solitude The poem begins with the speaker wandering, lonely as a cloud, suggesting isolation. However, this solitude transforms into a positive experience as he connects deeply with the natural world. This reflects the romantic belief that solitude can lead to personal insight and emotional rejuvenation. Memory and Imagination The daffodils leave a lasting impression on the speaker, which he recalls later to relive the joy of the moment. This emphasizes the romantic view that memory and imagination are powerful faculties that can bring comfort and creative inspiration. Imagery and Language Visual Imagery Wordsworth uses vibrant imagery to depict the daffodils, which are personified as dancing and fluttering. This not only brings the scene to life, but also emphasizes the joyful and almost human qualities of the daffodils. The use of similes and personification. The poem opens with a simile, comparing the solitary wanderer to a cloud, which enhances the feeling of lightness and freedom. The daffodils are personified extensively, reinforcing their impact and the emotional connection between the speaker and the scene. Structure and Form Rhyme Scheme and Meter The poem adheres to a rhythmic and simple rhyme scheme AB, AB, CC, typical to the lyrical ballads that Wordsworth favored. This regular pattern complements the serene and joyful themes of the poem. Four six-line stanzas. The structure of the poem is straightforward and organized, allowing the narrative of the encounter and its aftermath to unfold clearly and rhythmically. Historical Context Written in 1804, the poem was first published in 1807. It reflects Wordsworth's views on nature which were revolutionary at the time. The Industrial Revolution was altering landscapes and lives, and Wordsworth's poetry often served as a counterpoint, emphasizing the importance of nature for human happiness and moral well-being. Conclusion In Daffodils, Wordsworth not only celebrates the beauty of the natural world, but also illustrates how it sustains the human spirit. His use of vivid imagery, personal reflection, 
and the emphasis on emotional landscapes make this poem a compelling piece of romantic literature the poem's enduring popularity underscores its universal theme of finding joy and inspiration in nature comparison with other poems to enrich the understanding of daffodils let's compare it with other poems that share themes imagery or emotional resonance here are three poems and their points of comparison to autumn by john keats similarities celebration of nature both poems glorify the natural world though they focus on different aspects wordsworth on the springtime daffodils and keats on the richness of autumn sensory imagery each poet uses vivid imagery to evoke the senses capturing the visual splendor of the natural scenes they describe differences tone and mood to autumn is more reflective and subdued celebrating the quiet beauty and slow change of autumn whereas daffodils is more joyful and vibrant focusing on the energetic dance of the flowers theme of transience keats also hints at the transience of beauty and life a theme that is less prominent in wordsworth's more straightforward celebration of nature's enduring impact on the spirit the solitary reaper by william wordsworth similarity solitude both poems explore the theme of solitude with the speakers finding profound emotional experiences while alone in nature emotional impact on nature in both poems wordsworth shows how nature deeply affects the individual providing lasting memories and feelings differences human connection in the solitary reaper there is an interaction albeit distant with another person the reaper and her song provides the emotional uplift contrasting with the solitary interaction with nature in daffodils the lake isle of inis free by wb yeats similarities escapism both poems express a desire to escape to nature for peace and tranquility yeats dreams of building a cabin and living alone on inis free while wordsworth finds his escape through the memory of daffodils imaginative and emotional resonance each poet emphasizes the restorative power of nature not just in the physical presence but also through memory or anticipation differences actual versus imagined reality yeats's poem centers more on an imagined future escape a planned retreat from the world while wordsworth reflects on a past experience that continues to provide emotional sustenance conclusion comparing daffodils with these poems illustrates how romantic poets shared common themes such as celebration of nature the emotional and imaginative impact of natural beauty and the theme of solitude however each poet brings unique perspectives and emotional tones to these themes influenced by their personal experiences and poetic intentions daffodils focus on the immediate sensory and emotional experiences of nature providing a vivid and direct response to the natural world that resonates with joy and vibrancy so this was the critical analysis of the poem daffodils by william wordsworth we will meet in the next video and discuss some other poem until then goodbye and thank you hello everyone 
Welcome to this series on literary terms and literary theory. If you want to study the notes and MCQs related to this term, you can click the link given in the description. We are also going to start our online and offline classes for UGC Net for English literature very soon. So stay connected with us.